Hi, a while ago a marten broke into our chicken coop, which unfortunately didn't end well for the chickens. This can't happen again, therefore I built a device that reliably opens the door in the morning and closes it in the evening. It works by uh, pulling in this string, which is connected to the chicken door in the back, and it receives its time via a DCF77 receiver. It has a user interface in the front, and here the opening and closing time can be set, and I will show you now how this works. So right here we can see the user interface. It consists uh, of a switch to select the operation mode, it has a character display and three buttons. First you can select with the switch whether the door should be always open, always closed or whether it should open and close after schedule. Then to set the schedule, you press this button once and the display lights up. It shows the current time, uh, the current state of the door which is open and it shows the schedule which is currently from 6.30 to 21 or 9 p.m. If you press this button once, you can set the opening time in 30 minute steps. If you press it uh, twice, you can set the closing time. Then you can set the unwind duration. This is how long the motor should run to fully close the door. And then you have some um, diagnostic parameters like how many times has the door been opened and closed currently 204 times, the motor velocity, the cycle time, which is 14 microseconds, and then the encoder counts from the motor of how long it took to open and close the door. If you press it another time, it will go back to the main screen and after a few se seconds the display will turn off. So now we can take a look at the inner workings of the system. In the heart of the system there is an ESP32 microcontroller which controls everything and it is powered by a 12 volt power supply. This feeds into the motor controller which then generates a 5 volt supply with this little regulator. Um, this would get quite hot, um, especially because the entire box is closed, so I stuck a very small heat sink on top of it, and this seemed to fix the problem. Um, the motor, which is controlled by this motor controller over here, has an encoder on, on the end to know how long it has been driving for, and also to know the speed of the motor. There are checks in software to um, do an emergency stop if the motor seems to block or something. And the motor is connected to a rather large gearbox. Um, this makes it really slow, it's almost too slow, um, but it really doesn't matter for this application. Um, I don't care how long it takes to open and close the door, it just has to open at some time. To know whether the door is fully opened, there is this metal bead on the wire. It can be set in height uh, with these two set screws. And here is an inductive sensor, which then detects the presence of this metal bead to turn off the motor. The time for the system is received over this DCF77 time receiver, and its antenna is on top of here. This works quite well. But in the beginning, I had the antenna mounted in these uh, wooden brackets over here. And this caused a lot of problems with the power supply. Because um, as soon as the power supply would turn on, it would generate a lot of interference uh, right around 77 kilohertz, which is where this receiver operates. And then it wouldn't receive any time anymore. So. Now I have mounted the antenna on top of here and this seemed to fix the problem. This right here is the panel for the user interface. It has um, these small uh, buttons on the bottom here, on this PCB. And the actual buttons which are pressed by the user are um, these um, aluminium rods which I also turned on the lathe. Um, 
in the back there is a PCB which does some debouncing and filtering could also be done in software but I thought why not um, then there's just the display and the switch and all these wires can be disconnected so the display can be taken out of the uh, front of the case for maintenance so now let's see what happens if we power the system on first it does a homing routine you can see right here the motor velocity and after it found the uh, little bead on the wire with the inductive sensor it now starts to close because the operation mode is currently in the mode closed as you can see it is driving now it is quite slow but um, after about 60 seconds it gets there and um, it realizes when it's closed when uh, there's a certain number of encoder steps reached i think it's currently about 390,000 encoder steps after which it stops and while opening up it just drives until it finds the metal bead on the wire and now if we follow the wire it goes up here over this wheel and all the way down here to the chicken house now we can be sure that the chickens are safe and we don't have to get up early in the morning to open their door if you like this project please consider subscribing to my channel for more information and the source code you can check out the instructables page thanks for watching